frustration last week. They both were in tight battles and lost at the end in the fourth quarter where they could have used three or four more seconds. This is Roddy Jones gets the pitch and tries the left side. And he gets up to the 24-yard line. It'll be a game of two. K.J. Wright. Second and seven. First man through. And Wire carries up. And four. First possession of the ball game. Nesbitt to the corner. Good block there by Roddy Jones. And he's out of bounds at the 34-yard line. And he's got against Jacksonville State here on a Thursday night. Open the season. Here's Dwyer. Not much there. Pursued and hauled down. Keith Fitzhugh on the ground in their first three games, even though they're one and two. Nesbitt, the pitch man to the corner. That's Smith. Greg Smith can't turn it and gets up to the 42 yard line. Here to check new center. Andrew Farmer takes the spot of Dan Voss. And here is Roddy Jones in for the first down. It started at their own 22. Methodically chewing up some small yardage here. This is Peoples to the corner, and he gets into Bulldog territory at the 47-yard line. Rushes, no passes, second down and two, an eight-yard gain for Peoples on first down. Or to take on the Mississippi State side of the field. Here comes Nesbitt, nice keep. Show fake on his way, and driven out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Shaw had a good outing. In the second half when he played against Jacksonville State, but this is not Jacksonville State. Here's Dwyer, and Dwyer blows his way into the secondary. Terrell Johnson may be seeing Jabo Shaw for the balance of the afternoon. Here comes the pitch. This is Greg Smith, and Smith driven out of bounds, and all of a sudden, Jabo Shaw first and goal from the eight-yard line. The pitch to the corner. This is Peoples. Peoples headed for the pylon. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Start line, Jabo Shaw back in there at quarterback. Shaw on the option, grabbed from behind, slowed up by Terrell Johnson, and finally with J. Bo Shaw, the quarterback, the two freshmen. Big pitch set up to throw, had no time, but does get it complete. Close to the first down, here's Dwyer resetting the field. Dwyer knocked out of bounds at the 16. First and 10, all at the 15-yard line after a 20-yard game. And now J. Bo Shaw wants a timeout. That's Roddy Jones in motion, and he gets the pitch and gets caught up. 15. Ball at the 20-yard line. Back to throw with pressure as he throws. Into the end zone. Did he get it? Touchdown, Georgia Tech! Done. First and 10. Georgia Tech at their own 20. And off inside. No, it's going to be a pitch to Roddy Jones. He's on his horse and brought out of bounds by Fitzhugh. He's out of Stone Mountain, Georgia, with a big gain of 21. Jay Bolshaw pitches. It's loose, and Jones covers it up for a loss of three. Behind him. Wire the lone setback. On second and 13, here's Shaw to throw, and he aims at the tuba. Yeah, but you see the closing. Third and 14 now for Georgia Tech. They've made their first two third, third down conversion. Pass, a screen to Demarius Thomas. He tries to jump over some would-be tacklers. Gets a little yard line. Cox in motion. First man through Dwyer and nothing there. McCraney's right on the center. Here's the pitch in the eyes of Embry Peoples. He turns the corner and gets the first down in Bulldog territory at the 43. This is Dwyer. Yeah, he's special. And he's tripped up by Clinton. Second down and about four. And off goes to Dwyer. And good helmet to helmet contact there. And it's good enough for the first down on second effort to the 32. He went on campus facility for the World Championship Series teams. Here's the pitch to Dwyer. Takes to the corner and more. First down and brought out of bounds as a horse collar tackle on Pegues. As there were multiple fouls on the personal foul. Clipping. Number 55 on the offense. Number 20 on the offense. Personal foul. Horse call 
the tackle. On the defense, those pillages offset. We will replay a first down. We scored four plays after a turnover. And they also had an impressive 11 play all run march on their first possession of the afternoon. Hand off. Straight ahead. This is Quincy Kelly. Hand off again. Quincy Kelly. Second straight carry. Clanton brings him down. Third down and three. Wire back as a setback now. Here's J. Bo Shaw. It looks like a busted play. It looks like a ball. It falls around. Thomas and Clyburn are wide out. Debo Shaw on the option. Takes it on his own. He's got the added. The first down and the touchdown for Georgia Tech. Tech has an excellent opportunity here to put a fourth score on the board. They're in deep in Bulldog territory. Shaw scrambles out of the pocket. Brought down from behind and tackled after. And it's from the 26-yard line. Pitch comes to Dwyer, pursued on the corner, and driven out of bounds. K.J. Mississippi State, they won't quit, but they need some points. Yellow Jackets on third down. Shaw is collapsed upon. And they'll just push it ahead here and get into the locker room and try not to run. They don't have to run another play here in this for position of the day. They're on 12-yard line, first and 10. After the punt by Mississippi State, they lead it 21-0. Shaw on the option. Here's Dwyer kicking it into a new speed. Dwyer ahead of the field directs his blockers. Turns the corner. Can anybody get him? No. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. 88 yards. Stations, Eastern time. First and 10. J. Bo Shaw under center. Here comes the handoff. It goes to Dwyer. Dwyer breaking tackles into the secondary. He's on his horse again. And K.J. Wright as the receiver. Personal foul. Unnecessary rush for slave hit out of bounds. Number 34 on the defense. That penalty is half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. And the penalty marked off half the distance to the end zone after the 37-yard game by Dwyer. Quincy Kelly is the lone setback. Dave Shaw hands off. No, he's got it. Shaw headed inside the five, and he's brought down. Tweaked a hamstring in the first half. Here's J. Bo Shaw into the end zone for the touchdown. This may be coming back. Personal foul. Chop block. Right. Number 70 on the offense. That penalty is 15 yards for the previous spot. Replay first down. So got Melton to the top and Thomas to the bottom. Shaw, options. Ooh, boys to the... Uh, if, if you want to have it heal so he can do what he does. Second and goal from the 13. And off goes to Quincy Kelly. Not much, if anything. Here for Georgia Tech. Pushed back by the penalty, the chop block penalty. Shaw to throw over the middle. Almost picked off. Fitzhugh was there by... Abel Shaw still under center. Andrew Faulkner is that center. Back to throw. Here's nice, Shaw. Nice has call. some time. And it is incomplete. He over through. That's true. You might as well close your eyes and pick teams. Nobody knows what the heck's going on unless you start playing good teams. Well, Mississippi State found themselves playing a good team here this afternoon. And Jabo Shaw does an excellent play fake. That's a Tyler pi talent pipeline. Wonder where he's going. <laughs> she, she, I can give you a couple choices. Three-step drop goes to Thomas, but it's out of bounds. But, a, you know, grind it out, triple option team. He said, no, we, we want to throw the football. And on occasions they've had, they've done it, and done it with success. Here comes Roddy Jones, and he takes the, this one's going to be against. After George the play Tech. was over, personal foul. Late hit, number 65 on the offense. That penalty is 15 yards from the end of the run. Third down. Ball security. And the, the plays in which you beat yourself. Shaw with a handle. Nice pitch laid to Peoples. And driven out of bounds. He's a senior. Going for it on fourth down. Fourth down and six. And oh, now time out call. Love the movement. Yeah, they're trying to yeah, bring quarterback Josh Nesbitt today. And their starting center who was injured twice with Stingers. First and ten from the 13. 
Dave Beauchamp pitches late to Roddy Jones, and he is upended. Sean Bedford is the new center now. Third one of the day they've used. This is Quincy Kelly, and he gets the first down and more. Clemson and Georgia Tech on the 18th. Shaw. Peoples, and he's brought down by Derek Blake. Second down and one. Jabo Shaw, long count, hand off Kelly, and Kelly is wrestled there by Clinton, and he pushes it home. First and ten after the four-yard game. Pitch to the flats to Peoples, he'll turn the corner and get driven out of bounds, but it's again, it's a song about them here in a moment. Mm -hmm. And off goes inside. And that's Quincy Kelly again. Only Garside is in the backfield. Oh, well that's uh, Quincy Kelly again. In two weeks, they host Duke. And that's now looming as a bigger game than people thought. The Blue Devils playing as well as they have. Pitch to the corner goes to Greg Smith. Smith down the sideline. It's open. Smith all the way. End zone. Touchdown. New quarterback for Georgia Tech is Brian Dykes. He hands off to Quincy Kelly, who gets not much. Nice Dykes says he moves the ball out over the 36. And he'll keep it on his own this time. It's wrapped up by it. So Kelly just uh, went to the sidelines. Bryce Dykes still has the ball. And he pushes ahead in that second half of the day of the first down. Of and they lost the backup be back. This is Greg Smith. It went 45 yards for a touchdown last time. We got a flag down on the play. Walked down a bound. So you'll say this is a ground base offense. Number 33 on the offense. That penalty is declined. Personal foul. Clipping. Number 74 on the offense. That penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot. Replay first down. So average it quite a bit as a result of today's activity against a, a defense that usually doesn't give much. And the quarterback Dykes goes down. Calvin Booker is in at quarterback, fourth QB of the day. Booker upfield, pass is complete. Nice strike. If you look quick, you think you're looking at LSU or something like that. Booker back to throw, steps up, and now carries on his own, and finally is brought down. Performs those After nice. The play was over. Personal foul. Late hit, number 90 on the defense. 15 yards added to the end of the run. First down. So that keeps it, brings up first and 10 at Mississippi State Territory. And the pass is incomplete. And it, here comes Bryce Dykes. And he is inside the 20 to the 19. Well, Bobby Bowden's team will play somebody tonight. They got Wake Forest at home. And if they come away with a win on that one, they'll be very fortunate indeed. Dykes the pitch is behind the intended back. 11. And here's the keeper by Dykes, who regrets it immediately. Throw on the score. Booker back on a five-step drop. Flushed once. Can he find someone? No. Well, we're down it here. Or will we? Now we just hand it off. And that'll do it. Crop will run to its conclusion and 